Bienvenidos, desde la Facultad de Estudios a Distancia de la Universidad Militar Nueva Granada, les habla Santiago García Carvajal. Hoy tengo el placer de invitar al doctor Chris Colton, él es el director general de la empresa SquarePoint. Tengo interés en preguntarle al doctor Colton cuál es su perspectiva sobre el desarrollo de, de los proyectos comerciales y el potencial que tienen para el desarrollo de la propiedad raíz en Colombia. Dr. Colton, good afternoon. How are good you? afternoon. I'm very well. Thank you very much for the invitation. El Dr. Colton tiene un pregrado en propiedad raíz en la Universidad de Northumbria en Inglaterra. Dr. Colton, let's start by asking uh, why did you move to Colombia? What brought you here? Um, well, business. Uh, you know, we we were in Brazil. Uh, we were there for five years doing real estate development, focusing on on uh, shopping and on retail centers. Um, the economy, as we know today, it's well publicized, uh, is suffering. Uh, we got out just in time. We still have a shopping mall there, which is, which is trading very well. Um, uh, so three years ago, we decided to, to set up SquarePoint uh, to focus on uh, you know, the emerging markets of, of Colombia. Uh, you know, we believe in the country. Um, you know, we, it, it's having some issues at the moment uh, with the economy. We have a, a, a budget deficit, which is unfortunately widening by the day, but uh, we also have inflationary issues as well. But, you know, we, we believe in, in the government. Uh, you know, we believe in the growth of the country. Um, and hopefully, we're, you know, we're going to be here for the long run. Well, excellent. Um, Chris, let me, let me ask you for a student, especially for the higher management special, specialization, uh, the decision-making process in terms of how to integrate financial planning to marketing out plans? Sure, uh, that, that's a very, a very broad question. Um, uh, we, we work with institutional investors, um, international investors. Uh, s most of them are investing today in Colombia, those that aren't need convincing. Uh, we do a lot of market research, in-depth research. If, if we're looking at social housing, For example, we're, we're very active in Barranquilla at the moment in, in social housing. Um, so we really need to evaluate the market, not only today, but over the next five to ten years. And, th and that is the story which is, which is relevant for all asset classes, for, for uh, residential, for uh, hotels, for retail. It, it's the growth of the country. It's, you know, uh, we're sitting here today, uh, I mean, I mean Kaika uh, and, and Chia. You know, these municipalities, I, I believe it's, you know, they are the fastest growing municipalities in, in the country. Um, so what we try and do is, is, is analyze that growth pattern um, and you know, forecast these markets. And, and there's huge potential if you get it right. And, and that's where you know, very in-depth, good quality market research comes in. But it's, it's, you look at the market today, you evaluate what's happening today, Our expertise is also looking to the, to the future as well, over the next five, ten years, especially on very large projects. And some of our projects are upwards of $100 million. dollars. So, I mean, these are multi-phased. They go on for five years, ten years. So um, it, it's a risk, but we try and mitigate that through, through our research. Well, thank you very much. Mm. Let me ask you in, ter in terms of uh, human resources. You know, I know your, your company is a multinational You have, you know, talents from people from the world over. I'd like you to tell us a little bit about, you know, some of the policies that you have in terms of promotion and how you pick up talent <laughs> and things like that. It, it's difficult, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, Colombia, certainly the real estate market in, in Colombia, um, it, it's, it's behind countries like Chile, Mexico, I, I would estimate 15 years be, behind Chile. Um, so we have this lag in, in terms of, uh, in terms of you know, expertise. Um, our key directors are international. Um, what we try and do is bring in young talent. Uh, we try and tra uh, train them and mold them, give them that ex uh, expertise, but it takes time. It takes time, a lot of time. Uh, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Our finance director, again, he's been in the region for 20 years. Um, you know, the techniques he uses are very hard to, uh, to pick up day one. Um, so what we try and do is, you know, we, we go through the life of a project, and, and that's the best way to learn, outside of the classroom environment. 
Okay, good. Well, uh, my, my question was oriented in terms of culture, since you know you, you have okay. different people, different <laughs> you know personality traits and different cultures. And sure, like sure. I it, it's funny because Colombia does have a diverse culture. We work in in Bogota. We have projects in Barranquilla. Um, we're looking at projects in Medellin. We're looking at projects in Cali. And, and, and just just between those four cities, I, I notice a difference in how people work. Um, the kind of people that we hire are, are, are international. You know, Colombians but have worked abroad. I mean, you know, they, that, that's quite important for us. Um, it, it's 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 a mentality that they bring, right. um, and also they need to understand my jokes as well, which, as you know, I'm British. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you: once you come down, you know, make a decision about a project, and you're going to start to see a shopping mall in the area. Or what happens after that? I mean, what is the process of coming from this, you know, you're bringing a plan to make it physical? Sure. Um, well, I, I didn't really touch on in, in your previous question just about the financial modeling that we do. Um, that is uh, a large part of our um, project assembly. Um, you know, we really do sensitize our financial models. Uh, again, because these projects have a long duration. Um, so you know, once once we've assembled the project, you know we've got the market study, we've done the financial analysis, uh, we've got a strong local partner, which is is, is key to the success of any project. Um, you know we then put together the, the investment memorandum and we go out and raise money for that project. That could be locally, that or could be international. Touching on what, on, on what I said earlier, Colombia now is attracting more foreign investment. Um, ironically, we're, we are competing with North America, which is, you know, the, the American economy is, is rebound, it's very strong now. We're competing with, with, with North America, we're, we're competing with Africa as well, which is the new emerging market. Um, it's difficult, it's tough, so whatever we put together, it has to be very compelling. Very compelling. Um, you know, risk is, you can't underestimate risk, you really can't. Um, we have Venezuela. What's going to happen in Venezuela? You know, we've seen Brazil has, uh, you know, it's, it's going from bad to worse, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, Venezuela, that something's going to happen there over, over the next six to 12 months. We don't know when, if they have the referendum, the recall, um, which the government's delaying at the moment. If that turns into anarchy, it's going to affect Colombia. So, you know, our investors are wise to that. They, they, they know what's going on in the region, and, and what we see are these ripple effects. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to believe in what you do. Um, and we try and, you know, when we put these projects together, we try and mitigate risk as best we can. Well, how do you then, how do you foresee uh, those externalities and like, new drivers in your financial plans, for instance? Um, I remember when I read the, the Michael Porter's Five Forces, he was uh, writing about like, the, the teleconference uh, industry, like the hotel industry was going down because everybody now wants to go on a teleconference. Like, look at this, look where we are right now. This is a very non-conventional scenario. Sure. You broadcast an interview. People don't watch TV anymore. They, they like to come down and pick up you know, the channel they want on YouTube. Sure. How do you consider those things in your financial plan? In your projects, I mean, do you accommodate to the new drivers of the economy? And yes, we do. Uh, you know, one area which is very sensitive to real estate at the moment is, is sustainability. Good. Um, and even with our social housing projects, you know, we are we are looking at ways in which you know we can we can help save the planet. Photovoltaics is something that I, I was involved, personally involved with when I was at university um, 25 years ago. We did a pilot program for photovoltaics on, on, the, on the facade of a building. Fast forward 25 years, here we are, I'm in Colombia, and I would love to do uh, a, a photovoltaic project uh, mixed with social housing. You know, if, we can, if we can put together, um, it would have to be a sizable project, but you know, it, it, that, that provides free electricity, and it's from the sun. Right. We can look at rainwater harvesting. There, there are lots of technologies which are now becoming more affordable. However, it's still a cost. It's still a cost burden to these types of projects. We need the government. We need the, the support of the government. And that's, that's something that we're, you know, in time we will, we will try and approach them on. 
Um, you know, that, that to me is, is, is you know, the, the building development industry, it, 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 it really does consume a significant amount of, you know, of minerals, of product, of materials, uh, you know, that this world has and we're not replenishing those. Um, so, you know, square point is, is, a, is, a, you know, is a mandate, it's, it's something that we're always looking at, you know, we're trying to push those boundaries. There's a lot of resistance here because you've got a lot of uh, very uh, renowned developers who who aren't looking at that, right? Um, who are selling their products very very well. Um, so so there is that resistance. However, it will come. It will definitely come. Um, I mean that that is the key area for us at the moment is is looking at sustainability. Well, Chris. Um Give us a little message for our student community. You know, <laughs> we have guys that are taking our specialization, and tell us in terms of you know how to grow international, how to bring a new business international, or especially well, how to include a second language in your activities. You know, sure. Like uh, English is the most important language in the world. It's the language of science. It's the language of business. Give us a little motivational pitch. About <laughs> Um, well, I, mean, I, I used to be, I was a student a long time ago, I, mean, I, I, I was very lucky, I was, I was very fortunate. You know, my first job out of university you know, exposed me to, uh, to, to real business and, and, and I think that's key. You know, getting the foundations of, of, of whatever, you're, you know, um, whatever you're going into uh, in terms of your profession is, is important, you get that from the classroom. Um, but, Taking that first step into the big wide world, uh, you choose the right company to work for. It may not be the biggest company, but it's the one that's going to give you that exposure. It's going to make you learn um, and grow, you know, with your with your knowledge, your professionalism, your expertise. And again, I, I was so fortunate when I first started off. Um, I mean, you can work as hard as you can, but you know, at the end of the day, it, it's it's really choosing that career path. Um, you know. Staying at a company for three or four years to get as much ex experience as you can, uh, and either staying with that company and growing or moving on. And if you can move international, I mean, Colombia, it, it's ironic because we are seeing Colombians coming back. We're seeing some good talent coming back from North America, from Europe, which is fantastic. I mean, it really is good, it's good for the economy. Um, as, as a student, that's all I can say is, is try and is grab the olive branch. And if, if you can get that experience international, even better. So, learn English. Oh, thank you, Will. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that wraps it up for the day, Will. Thank you very much, Chris. No, thank you. Very uh, enlightening, very delighting to uh, meet you, and well, welcome to Universidad Militar whenever you want. This is uh, like home for uh, guys like you always. And thank you very much. Well, for uh, para nuestra comunidad docente, administrativos, eh, muchas gracias.